interesting dynamic here in the bubble. There's a turnover. Siakam threw it right into the hands of Smart. Take it on two Raptors. Goes all the way and scores. Here at both Gasol and Lowry. Smart's having a great series. He's shooting it so well from behind the arc. And single-handedly won game two for Boston with his fourth quarter prowess. Boston won the first two games. Toronto won the next two. And they've alternated since. Toronto's won three of the last four after trailing 2-0 in this series. And for those who haven't been following this series, it boiled down to a half a second in game three. OG Ananobi hit a three-pointer to win the game for Toronto. And instead of going down 3-0 and all but out, they were back in it. And here we are in game seven now. For the Celtics, Robert Williams into the game. Van Vliet, and it's poked away by Brown. Incredible. Both teams, very physical games. A lot of contact. Here's Tatum for three. No. And it's Brown with the offensive rebound. Brown gives it up. Williams bobbles it. Finds Smart. Another three on the way. Lowry pulls down the rebound. Smart 0 for 3 from behind the arc to get this one started. Well, the team is 0 for 7 from behind the arc. And the three-point shooting, we know, has been an important fact that many of those in the series. Shooting over 11 threes a game when he shot fewer than seven a game during the regular season. And try to find out where the differences are in wins and losses and between these two teams. And in this series, it all comes back to shooting threes. Gasol misses a three. Did make a couple of threes in game six. The first two threes he's made in this series. Brad Stevens told me that last night he sent Kemba Walker a text with a screening action that he had coached against in college that had given him trouble in the past. He asked Walker if he wanted him to add that particular action to the Celtics offense. Walker's answer, nope, I know what we need to do, coach. I got this. Stevens said ultimately when your best players say that type of thing, you don't have to overcomplicate things. It's just time to go out and play. Brian Stan, the other important note here, with all the different looks that the Celtics have seen the Raptors throw with them defensively, they feel there's nothing they can't adjust to on the fly. They yeah, a great point, Rebecca, and Brad Stevens said he got a great night's sleep knowing all of that as well, trusting his players and their feel for the game as Marcus Smart hits the jumper, second made three in the Celtics. Well, Marcus Smart, eight of the starters in this series shot better from three during the season than Marcus Smart, but he's been the best three-point shooter in the series as Boston gets an easy one. And this is a little dangerous now, Brian. When we talked to Nick Nurse today, he, what he was most concerned about was their start to the game, that they had to get off to a good start and at least be in the game in the first quarter. Set a run for the Celtics. Toronto's missed their last five here. 16-7 here, Boston. Five and a half remaining in this first quarter. Siakam gets it deep up and over Williams, but he disrupted that shot. Here comes Tatum out of the pack, trying to advance this run. Tatum goes behind the back, finds Smart. He pulls it, and he hits it. Marcus Smart, back-to-back -back threes for him. Bench to both Siakam and Norman Powell. This isn't going to be as early as we've seen Norman Powell lately. But Pascal Siakam just continuing to struggle in this series. Big shot by Fred Van Vliet. Toronto needed to see one go through. Van Vliet gives it to him. They sure did. On the take, that was blocked by Siakam. Here comes Van Vliet. Gets to the middle, will pull it back now. Gasol left open, fires a three, misses again. He's 0 for 2 from behind the arc. It was a stretch for Gasol against Boston specifically, missed 16 straight. Offensive foul is going to put the ball back in the hands of team in the game. 15 of those coming in the two overtimes. That's 15 of the 27 that they scored. So, it's huge. Just on the floor, gets the bucket for Toronto. Ibaka's had a nice series as well. He's been shooting it exceptionally well from behind the arc. Shooting over 50% from three-point range is Serge Ibaka, the seven-footer. Wow, look at Tatum. A long runner, that is true. He thought he was, and it went in. Toronto going back man-to-man -to -man with Kimball Walker out of the game. 
Saw the box in one once again. Kimba Walker exits. No points in seven minutes. Here's Lowry now. Rattles in and out. Brown with a rebound. This is not the start that Nurse wanted. He, he knew this first quarter was important, and they're struggling early in the game. Austin, the three seed. Toronto, the defending champs, the two seed. Technically a home game here, although that doesn't really matter here. The bubble look at Powell going coast to coast. He dumps. And he absolutely needed that dunk. If he didn't dunk that, Ryan, Daniel Tice had that time that was going to get the block shot. Tice has already had a run down. He had Tatum in this game. One and done for Boston. Lowry running the show. Lowry all the way in. No. Adanobi gives him a second chance. The spin. Tice there again. That one goes. Go home time. The Miami Heat are waiting. Took down the Milwaukee Bucks, the top seed. That'll be Tuesday night. We'll get that series started. The Eastern Conference Finals. Out of bounds was Siakam. Ibaka gave it to him with him for the Celtics. Ibaka and Powell. Now Thomas off the bench for Toronto. Thomas got that quick release and he knocks down his first try of the night. He has emerged in this series. He's got minutes the last four games. That three-point weapon, Matt Thomas, the rookie out of Iowa State. But I think this is the first time we've seen him in the first quarter. And that goes to Nick Nurse wanting to get guys a little bit of rest early. And so far it's paid off with Norman Powell. One point. Toronto has answered though. Coming to the end of this first quarter, Wanamaker comes up empty. Toronto on a 12-2 run. Boston with five straight misses now. Van Vliet working with Ibaka, gives it to him. The big man can shoot it, and he knocks down another one. Boy, Coach, he is lighting it up from behind the arc. Serge Ibaka now 15 made threes in the seven games of this series. Shooting over 50% from three. The Toronto bench, some fresh legs. Giving them a lift here. Giving them that comeback and taking the lead. And Ibaka's going to shoot it again. Comes up short this time. Toronto out in front. Approaching one minute left in this first quarter. Tatum all the way and he's fouled. Saw our friends from the AEW in the virtual crowd as well. That's a source. On the take Siakam with... Wanamaker guarding him. Siakam, numbers down, field goal percentage down. Jalen Brown's been on him quite a bit in this series. That might have something to do with it. Brown's been excellent defensively. And that's going to be a turnover. Stats they're getting, but it has frustrated Kimball Walker and certainly taken him out of his rhythm. Raptors lead by a point. Van Fleet hits a three. So Fred Van Vliet with a second made three-pointer. Shooting at just 30% here in this series. Made over half of his threes in their opening round sweep of the Brooklyn Nets. But as Stan mentioned, his volume is up over 11 a game. Biggest lead for Toronto. They lead it by four. Kick to the corner. Here's Ogilvy for three. He's got it. That's what we're talking about with Tatum, his ability to drive it and pass off the dribble. Tatum with four assists, last shot of the quarter. Front eye for the Celtics. Well, for Jalen Brown, that's a bit of a problem because it's been a huge difference. Shooting 38% in their three wins in this series from three, but came in to this game shooting only 23% in their three losses from three, and he's 0 for 5 already tonight. Foul called on Lowry. Trying to draw the offensive foul on Brown. Lowry is adept at doing just that. Led the NBA in charges taken this season. Tatum back on the floor for Boston. So it's Tatum, Smart, Brown with Ogilvy and Robert Williams. The five on the floor for Boston. Powell will sit. Good run for Powell in his first minutes on the floor. Four points in eight minutes. Had a rebound. Smart. Short. Williams off. Um, throughout and tonight, Boston off to a very slow start from deep. Cut off the offensive foul by Jason Tatum. Boston got off to a good start shooting. Nine for 17, but 
two for 13 in the last eight minutes. There's a steal. Turnover Toronto. Here's Brown on the take. And Brown finishes with a foul. Well, Brown is spring-loaded, isn't he? Flying high to this entire series until that one. Four-point game. Toronto with the ball in the lead. Second quarter action here. Game seven. Winner headed to the Eastern Conference Finals at a date with the Miami Heat on Tuesday night. Ananobi took a peek at the clock with two on it. Misses. Ibaka offensive rebound. Ibaka scores. The seven foot is strong inside for Toronto. Ibaka able to use his size inside. It's something with all the switching that goes on in the NBA today that I think teams need to emphasize more. Which they around the basket as anybody we've seen. Williams is 22 years of age. He's been a factor in this series, taking the minutes away from Ennis Canner. He's bringing a lot of athleticism. He's got some thunder dunks in this series. Tatum gives it up. Extra passing. Smart now crossover with Siakam on him. Can't get him off his feet. Williams kicks it. Got to get one up here. Shot clock down to six. Tatum will fire. And a Siakam with a rebound. Lowry hit the deck. Van Vliet gives it up. Ibaka for three. And he is fouled through Toronto. Remember, they were down early 12. It was a fast start for Boston. Ibaka's got 12 points and five boards. Here's Brown on the take to the corner. Smart for three. And Gasol pulls it down. They're getting a lot of open corner threes, which are, analytically speaking, outstanding shots. But they're just not able to knock them down consistently right now. Smart up top for Tatum. Smart got the steal and leaves it for Jason Tatum and Boston in transition. Well, Boston, Jason Tatum is off to a great start, being very aggressive, running extremely hard, doing everything he can. Here and then Smart takes a shot. All facets of the game. They find him again. Van Vliet's on him. Smart on the drive now. And Smart scores as he banks one in. So it's been the Marcus Smart show here. The last few possessions. Boston within three. Toronto with the ball in the lead. Under five minutes to go in the second quarter. As Lowry draws the foul from Robert Williams. Well, you said it about Smart earlier, and it's true. Smart has had a great series. You, you know you're always going to get a tremendous defensive effort out of him. He's one of the hardest playing guys in the league. Physically tough. He's going to rebound the ball for a guard. His offense can be streaky at times, but in this series, he's been outstanding. Third team foul for Boston. And Anobi working on Tatum. Just bullying his way in. Lost the handle. Stripped down by Tatum. Another steal. Boston forcing turnovers now. Here's Tatum looking for a foul. Didn't get it. Missed it. Gasol with the rebound. Lowry finding Van Vliet. Gets to the middle. Van Vliet. Boy, that was tough. Into the hands of Kemba Walker. And it's picked by Powell. Walker up top. The catch by he landed out of bounds. Trips down the floor. Gives him eight for the game thus far. Approaching the four-minute mark. Van Vliet at the controls. He and Lowry with Powell, Gasol, and OG Ananobi. Lowry steps inside. Mid-range jumper, no good. There's Tatum with another rebound. Tatum's got eight boards already. 11 points to go along with those eight rebounds. And four assists. Jason Tatum has been terrific to start. Walker. Stops and pops. So run for Boston. Celtics trying to get more out of Kemba Walker. His first points of the game. Smart out running two Raptors to the ball. And Marcus Smart will. Making a better effort on a loose ball than Toronto's players. Marcus Smart a huge play. Boston back in the lead. 41-40. And Anobi cannot hit the three. Here comes Kemba Walker. Walker now pull up three on the way. Gasol the board. But that's where Kimball Walker can get his opportunities. He got his first bucket in transition. He got that open shot in transition. They're going to be in man-to-man -man off of missed shots. He is not going to get great looks 
against the set. It's the Raptors. Boston with the ball in the lead under three minutes to go in the second quarter. Marcus Smart's defense has keyed this Boston run back into the lead. Here's Smart kicks it in the corner. Jalen Brown, three-pointer is down. That's a good Marcus Smart figures in creating that shot off of penetration. An 11-0 Boston run. Three and a half on the game clock. They were down 12. Van Vliet for three. Short. Brown with a rebound. Here come the Celtics again. Tatum with Van Vliet on him. Tatum backing him in. At the size mismatch. Active hands though. Van Vliet. Tatum gives it up. Now Siakam guarding Kemba. They put it right back in the hands of Tatum. Shot clock down to three. Tatum, tough shot. Short. Boy, Van Vliet stood his ground. Tatum didn't want to attack. Van Vliet finds Gasol wide open in the middle of the lane. I think to a lot of fans, that little, you're not far away. That's a shot that requires a very soft touch. Great shot by Mark Gasol. Ooh, proud. From behind the arc. But again, he stays very active, moving without the ball to get himself that shot. I like Jalen Brown's maturity as a player. He, he stays even keel in the moment. Walker finds his spot, scores it almost for him in transition. They've done that now, and he's got a chance. He's not going to get much against that box in one. 15-2 is the run for Boston. Gasol inside is fouled. Got it to within five points, but the Lakers would prevail. And they've won three in a row in that series. Coming to the end of this second quarter here in game seven. Boston by four. Walker in trouble, finds Tice. He goes strong, and he's met at the rim. That's Brown right there for him. He's got 15 now. Boston's really found their footing here at both ends of the floor in the last six minutes here of the uh, second quarter. Tremendous defense and finding their way to get shots. And a lot of it, it was just with great effort at the offensive end like that. Strong finish by Fred Van Vliet. Four seconds left. Kemba Walker lets it bounce. We'll take the last shot. It's a three. And that'll be rimmed by a couple of Celtics. Tatum with Brown, Tice, Smart, and Kemba Walker, the starting five. Trying to stretch this lead for Boston. Lowry on Tatum. Runs him into Siakam. Tatum, no. Tice is there for the putback. He's been great in this series. Oh, oh Kemba Walker all not down. They say side out of bounds here. And now Tatum goes to work. Gives it up. Kemba Walker for three. Back iron. Siakam with the rebound. Another wide open shot created by Jason Tatum. Walker over for four now from three-point range. Siakam. A couple of buckets for Siakam. That's a welcome sign for Toronto. And that's where he's got to get him. He's in transition. Facing the set defense has been tough for Toronto. They need to try to get some opportunities before the defense is set. Nice look by Tice. His offensive rebound. Smart gives it right back to Tice. Blocked. Gasol. I did speak to a member inside of the organization tonight. He told me that the Celtics are encouraged by his progress and hopeful for a return sooner rather than later if they do advance. He added, as for game one, too soon to tell for that because it's a it's on his mind as well. A child that is due at the end of September. But it's been impressive what Boston's been able to do here in the bubble without Hayward. Tyson. Kemba Walker exits with four points in 27 minutes. Does have four rebounds and three assists. Tice passed it up. Back to Wanamaker. Back in the hands of Smart. Wanamaker. Good ball movement here. Tice. Three-pointer is up. No. Wanamaker wrestling with Gasol. Siakam comes away with it. Toronto oh, just five. hanging in here. Yeah, Brian. I mean, just... Hanging in. I mean, I'm, I'm watching it. It seems to me that Boston is outplaying them at both ends of the floor, but it's only a five point game. Powell, never afraid, comes up short. Tatum with a rebound. Yeah, you can look at both teams right now. There are windows of improvement.
Certainly Boston's three-point shooting is a concern. There's a pick by Ananobi. Ananobi fouled by Tice. Quarter was by forcing turnovers, and now we see back-to-back -back turnovers by the Celtics, giving Toronto a chance to cut this to one or to tie it. Ibaka back on the floor. Got smart autumn, just powers his way in, scores at the basket. 8-0 Toronto run. Boston has not scored in the last seven possessions now. Ibaka's got 14 and 5. Tatum with 17 points and goes to the hole. He's fouled by Powell. Losing Kawhi Leonard to free agency and then able to end up as the two seed 53 wins during the regular season they went seven and one in the bubble Siakam comes up short into the hands of Tatum tipped by Walker well Boston comes out that time in 2-3 zone showing Toronto a different look here's Brown he and Tatum have been excellent Tatum gives it up here's Walker on the attack Pass. Down the stretch tonight. Siakam gets the breather here. Ibaka's the big man. Here's Tatum short. And that's who's it going to be. Better under two minutes. But it belongs to Toronto. They are down three. And here's Van Vliet. He's got it with a mid range for Fred Van Vliet. He's got 14 now. He's hit a couple of threes in this game, and it's a one point game. Well, he got into the middle of that zone. Got the ball right at the free throw line, able to knock it down. So Boston, who has played predominantly man-to-man, -man, just a couple of possessions of zone, doesn't mix it up as much as the Raptors do, but they've been zone, and there Toronto takes advantage. Toronto, a chance to take the lead. One and done for the Raptors. Boston 0 for their last seven from the field. Covering four minutes and change, make it 0 for their last eight. Ibaka cleans up the boards. Again, Toronto a chance to take the lead. Late in the third, Van Fleet, no! Disrupted by Williams. Brown takes on Ibaka, and the layup by Brown. Using their defense, and then run. Get some points in transition. Lowry just still in the lead as we approach the three-minute mark of this third quarter. Kimmel Walker trying to shake Van Vliet. Right with him, step for step. Walker. And it's blocked by Van Vliet. What a save under there. Kyle Lowry saves it for Toronto. What a play. What great effort. You're seeing that on every loose ball now. Neither team conceding anything. Ibaka can't handle the pass. Toronto turns it over. Smart finding the Watermaker. Smart goes to the hole, takes Ibaka on. And Toronto is hanging around. They're only down four. And they can only down two. In first half, he's becoming very aggressive here in the second half. That championship medal of the Toronto Raptors. Boston by two. We go into two minutes in this third quarter. Smart probing finds Ogile for three. How with a rebound. Toronto a chance to tie or take the lead now. Van Vliet for three. And Toronto really having a good night tonight. And for the Celtics, it's been the big two. Kemba has been quiet once again. Toronto now has gone away from the box and one on Kimba Walker. They're straight man to man. Kimba just four points. He rises up in rhythm, knocks it down. That's it is opportunities in his comfort zone in that pick and roll game. Trying to guard Siakam. He gives it up. Van Vliet, the hot hand, three pointer. No. Siakam follows, keeps the possession alive. Here's the bucket for three. Oh, missed badly. Tatum with a rebound. He's got 12 boards to go along with 19 points. And now Tatum fires a three and hits it. Jason Tatum with a big three for Boston. Well, these are the moments for your stars. Game seven here, and Jason Tatum is making the most of it. Powell for three in the corner. Nice find by Lowry. Back to a one-point game. Coming to the finish line of this third quarter now.
About three seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Ojale the screen. Tatum. He's got Powell on him now. Shot clock down to five. Going to be Tatum here. Tatum, long range three pointer is up. Short. And back of the board. Chance at the final shot of this third quarter. Lowry fires. Lowry can't hit. And we are set up for the. Bad lead leading the Raptors in scoring. He's got 20. Walker trying to check it. Van Vliet pulls it up short. Williams, another rebound. Very, very little ball movement for Toronto. No player movement, very little ball movement, all one-on-one, -on -one, whereas Boston is getting into their drive and kick game more and creating shots for each other. Tatum off one foot, comes up short. Lowry gets the board, trying to take it coast to coast. Nope, leaves it for Powell. And a whistle underneath. Locking people out, go to the boards. Very hard playing guy. Coach Toronto now with 15 turnovers. Boston has scored 24 points off those 50. In transition a moment ago. Five point game. Approaching the seven minute mark. Tatum with bad lead on him. Tatum goes strong. He's fouled. Four. His first miss at the free throw line tonight. Toronto down six with the ball. Game seven of this Eastern Conference semifinal round. The winner moving on to take on Miami Tuesday. Siakam gets to the middle. Grant Williams is on him. Siakam gets his own and puts it back there. But great effort. And this is the lineup Toronto finished the game with the other night. Their small ball unit with OG Ananobi at center. Kimball pulls up a three short. Siakam with a rebound. Kimball Walker now one of six from behind the arc. Siakam. And look at Smart. Just picked him. Brown on the move. In the corner, Tatum. Boy, Marcus Smart, so impressive. Seven steals in the game. Tough defense by Toronto here. Shot clock at eight. Walker. Pull up jumper is good and a foul. Kemba Walker a chance at three. That is big. Gets into his sweet spot there. Wide open. And then Siakam lunging at it. Fouls. But the biggest problem for extremely active and swarming. Toronto's got a quick shot. Comes right back. Gets an and one. And it's back to a seven-point Boston. Siakam with Grant Williams still on the floor to guard him. Remember, Tice on the bench in foul trouble. Siakam just struggling to get into the lane, and Williams comes away with it. Another turnover, and just a nightmare series, quite honestly, for Pascal Siakam. Guy who averaged 23 points during the year, averaging 15 in this series. Not shooting the ball well, turning the ball over tonight. He has just really, really struggled. Now he gets blown by on the drive. It has been a 30 now off turnovers. 17 giveaways and make it 18 as Lowry throws it away. Starting to cry. And they played extremely well and got to the second seed. And now here they are in game seven and could still come back and win this. But on the off. Remember there was that stretch in the second quarter in a five minute span. Toronto turned it over six times. They've got another one of those stretches going right here with six turnovers. Ten point game. Needs something to happen and Norman Powell gives her in the paint. And Brad Stevens wants to talk it over. 429 remaining in the fourth. Game seven, win or go home. Play the entire fourth quarter. Williams, offensive rebound. Boy, he's giving up some big minutes here. Grant Williams, the rookie out of Tennessee, with Tyson foul trouble. Stevens choosing Williams over Robert Williams. That was right off his foot. Tatum turns it over. We're taking care of the ball. Four minutes to go in the fourth. Lowry probing, gives it up. Siakam looks hesitant. Now Siakam goes to work. Siakam with a finish. Wow. Boy, recovered. He didn't know what he wanted to do at the beginning. But scores the basket inside. It's a six-point game. 
Toronto staying with that small ball lineup that they finished with the other night. Ananobi at the five allows them to switch virtually everything. Ananobi can move his feet and play a guy like Kimball Walker. Walker, smart, he is fouled. Boston has outplayed them considerably. Coming down to the wire here. Toronto down seven, needing a bucket this possession. Siakam taking on Grant Williams and a foul on Will. Interesting to note, Brad Stevens, one of the few coaches in the NBA that has his team's finish in the second half on the offensive end on this side of the floor. That's a miss. Williams keeps it alive and steps on the sideline. Came on a sprint across the court. Great effort by Scott Foster to get there and get that call changed. Lowry gives it back to Powell. He's got Tatum on him. Powell pulls the string back. Now the switch with Smart. Powell goes to the hole. No. And Siakam there to keep it alive. Bodies on the floor, but it ends up in the hands of Brown. Austin secures it. Six-point lead for the Celtics. Again, just no movement on the Toronto end. Players standing around watching and guys going one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to get the same thing here out of Boston. Walker gives it up. Good defense there by Ananobi. Shot clock to two. Smart. Scoops it. And got a whistle. Gork. Toronto down six with the ball. Lowry, a little hesitation. Now he goes to the basket. Residence that at least they had a little movement before they got into their pick and roll and the Boston defense wasn't set to help. 7-1 Toronto run. They've gotten it within four. This game seven. Here's Tatum. Nothing there. Tatum looking for help. Williams gives it right back. Shot clock at five. Tatum over at Anobi. No, it's short. Smart is out of bounds. And he'll tice this. Four-point game. Here's Lowry again, goes to the hole, ties back on the floor, and Lowry can't get it to go, and a whistle. Here we go, two-point game, minute 19 left, game seven. Who's going to take the big shots? The kind of stuff you dream about. Tatum, guarded by Siakam, gets by him, Tatum, no! And it's into the hands of Siakam, here comes Powell, Powell with smart defending, oh, it's blocked by Smart! Unbelievable defensive play by Marcus Smart. Boston leads by two. Shot clock ticks. Walker with Van Vliet on him. Chance to make it a two-possession game. It's all Kimba here. Leaves it. And a foul to Williams. Stay in it. Here's Van Vliet. Brown is on him. Toronto down three. Shot clock down to nine. And Lee will get it set up with Ibaka. Two-man game here. Now Williams on the switch. He's an excellent defender. Van Vliet puts up a prayer, and it's into the hands of Walker. And now foul is coming, and Boston a chance to ice this one. He gets a three for Van Vliet. He doesn't. Ananobi, great effort, yep. but that's it. That's it. That's the ball game. The Boston Celtics hang.